there's a fish. Little bow. Well, dude, see ya. Man, this is just such a beautiful place. I've got one rod with me, a couple of lures to switch out, kind of watching the fish finder for depth purposes mainly and this is my first time fishing on the lake I've fished the lake from the bank with Dean uh, Dean Lim uh, one of my friends um, and fishing buddies uh, we met up here once and um, hiked the lake and fished it uh, mostly that side I'm not gonna look at that side because the sun glare is crazy right now but uh, beautiful lake feel pretty lucky to be able to fish it actually um, just because it's so beautiful caught a fish you know I don't know other than catching a few more I don't know what can make this any better so um, I'm fishing the, the last hour of daylight basically came up here a little bit earlier and there were just so many freaking people I was like no nope, not gonna do it and I figured most of them would you know clear out by uh, about right now and, and that was the case so um, I'm out here this lake is cool because it's got brook trout in it too it's got the rainbows um, but it's got brook trout in it and I'm kind of on the hunt for some brookies I'd like to catch a couple that would be awesome so I've hooked up with one um, I've hooked up with two I've only landed one and we'll see if we can get some more bites these sheer cliffs over here are just really cool to look at. Using a little blue fox on number three, I think this is. Um, just kind of a gold color. Seen a few jumping. Um, eating uh, bugs off the surface, seeing a little bit of that. So I think it's it's uh, getting pretty darn close to feeding time. Whoa! Right off the bat, we got something. He got that on the jump. Little tiny bow. It'd be awesome if he could quick release himself, but it probably won't happen. Yeah, he's not up too bad. But look at this little guy. Little baby bow. You're good. Go swim. All right, so that's two fish. Whew, and that's a nasty sun glare. That was kind of interesting. He just snagged that thing right when I hit the water. Pretty cool. I don't know how many big fish are in here. But uh, crystal clear water. The sun was up at a higher angle. Uh, you know, I'd be able to demonstrate that or show you guys, but.
There we go. There's a brookie! Yeah! Nice! Got it! Ooh, gosh, he's got sharp, sharp teeth. We're on another fish. Looks like a little bow. A little baby bow. Another fish. Another little bow. These guys are pretty. Come on. We'll get this done quick. Come on. Uh, I said quick. I'm sorry. I don't have a whole lot of time left. 10, 15 minutes, eh, maybe more. This feels like a decent fish. He's not. He felt like it. <laughs> Another bow. It's kind of interesting because most of this lake is pretty shallow. I'm on about 10 feet right now. But you get over there by the base of that hill, um, you know, the, the huge rock basically, and it goes down to about 70 feet in places. And it's generally just deeper over there. And over there, right here, it's pretty shallow. It's kind of interesting. I was up here in May, and uh, I believe it was May, April or May. And this thing still, when I got up here, um, there was still snow everywhere. This thing was iced over. There was about a foot and a half, two foot of snow on top of the ice. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. And I was really hoping to fish it, so it was kind of a bummer, but, you know, that's how it goes. Well guys, that wraps up this trip. It was a fun little productive hour. And you know, this lake doesn't hold a ton of big fish. Um, it's a high, you know, high elevation lake. There's not a lot of food source for these trout to really grow. The rainbow are stocked. So they're just bug sippers. Um, they're not going to get huge like trout that are eating other fish and trout that have a lot of forage to feed on and grow with. But I still had a great time catching them. Stoked to cut that brook trout. It's my first of the year. And, um, you know, pretty cool little evening. Um, about an hour, hour and 15 minutes on the water. And I caught some fish. And I fished in a gorgeous spot. Um, this is a pretty cool area. If you're ever up in the uh, Mount Shasta area, give it a spin. Check it out. All right, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and thanks for getting out west with Chris.